well, first of all, hi. Uh, sorry, I just... What's it called? I was just announcing my stream on Discord as well. Uh, first of all, thanks to... Clapsaddle, Pathogen7 and Mr. Pixie follow me on Twitch since the last time, a week ago. And... Moment, there was also some... I think. Locations. Uh, huh. Okay, maybe not. I, I was so sure. Like, I received a couple of, of uh, comments, but apparently... Follow. Ah. Oh well, then I guess I was just wrong about that. It's okay as well. Um, for now back to the game actually. Uh, let me see, chat, there. Uh, I will be playing the Rootless, uh, an orc campaign by Anacron, who's also going to be watching, uh, but they're, they're still a bit at work, so they won't be able to comment quite yet. And it's a first play uh, I threw for me, so everything I see will be new. But they've heard very good things about it. So first of all, it's, um, as I said in our campaign, it's set uh, apparently more or less after uh, after the rise of Westnoff, pretty much exactly if I read this description correctly. Which Lord Javian is defeated and the orcs are left in disarray? To magical gates from the Far East sealed, the warlords resort to uh, traditional ways. Seeking to overcome adversity with blood and razor sharp steel. Amid this chaos, a cunning assassin named Ashak embarks on a quest to secure a new homeland for his people. So, first of all, I'm not quite sure if uh, this will be played on the Green Isle or on Westnorf or maybe both. Uh, so, yeah, I guess that's it. that would be the first thing to figure out. Obviously, I am playing some kind of assassin. Like I, the description says, it, the difficult selection says, Assassin Slayer Chat and I played, and the, he seems also to is it the assassins also seems to be riding some kind of wolf, right? And apparently this is rookie level, so I should be able to progress quite fast through it. So no idea how um, how much playtime this will be, but as I said, I've heard only great things about it, so. The arrival of humans and orcs caused turmoil among the nations of the great continent. Lich Lord Javian was defeated and destroyed, while his orc minions fled back to the Green Isle. The victorious Urimid Prince, Harik, was crowned the first king of Westnoth, and his people settled the lands provided by the elves. Yet despite the mutual promises of friendship and alliance, both humans and elves secretly plotted to undermine the other party. The elvish council, Kalian decided not to help in an event of a new war with orcs, hoping that the two races would weaken each other and never again pose any threat. King Halric was similarly treacherous in that he forged treaty, lying to the re forge as in fake, and lying to, re to the remaining lich lord that the powerful ruby of fire had been exchanged with the elves for the new land. Thus, all the hell between men and elves was half-hearted in the first seven years of Resnaf's history. Yet humans managed to break one orcish attack after the other and build the new fortified city of Elanzafar, from which they could push back, from which they could push any orcish horde back into the sea. That did not stop one foolish warlord from trying to capture the human capital and take his rightful place in the orcish songs. Yet. This is not his story. The Siege of Elanzafar. Yeah. Come on, take the city! Well, that did not work. You filthy scum! Stop dying! Chief, this is madness! What did you say? Can you not see? The 
The sun is rising, the troops are getting overwhelmed. I'll have you whipped for this insolence. You lack the strength and willpower of a true orc assassin. Doesn't look like the strength and willpower of a true orc helps much. Chief, we should really consider regrouping. Even you, Shaman? Just stop complaining and, uh, and I'll drink from the skull of the command of Elanzifer before the sun sets. Yeah. Come on, Chief. That is enough bloodshed for one morning. Alright, alright, you cowards. You have until dusk to cut your breath. Then we attack again. We don't even have siege weapons capable of raising those stall walls that they built now. Good thing we learned from the attack of those fire breathing lizards a few years back. This is. Like, I'm very sure this is a reference to the now mainland campaign Wings of Victory, in which I think Elanzafal was raided or raider burned down. But since I haven't played the new iteration, I do not actually know. Like, if the city was raided, I do know the city is being attacked. You're right, son, but what can we do? It's not like the Warlord will let us leave if you ask him. Well, Let's not ask him. I already have a plan. I paid the smugglers for a boat that can take us upriver. All is ready, but they haven't but they can't come while the weather is clear. They would be spotted and arrested before they could leave the city. Interesting, so this rogue cannot normally advance to level three. I know a ritual that can cast the fog to the riverbank. You just have to get me uh, over the top of that hill, Ashak. My magic will be far more powerful there. Over there, yet yeah, it's very obviously elevated. So, Clara will return back home after smuggling you, so that would be her. And my goal for now is, of course, as it was said, to move but hard to the. like my mother, apparently, the Orca Shaman, to the hill in the east. First of all, this is obviously a in somewhat interesting setup as in uh, clearly well, who's allowed to die? Yeah, as uh, here I'm attacking the city, but my actual plan is to f because I'm just I just got caught up in this fighting apparently. No, I do not want hints. I'm I kinda do want hints. First of all, there is. Uh, I say that a lot, I, I know, but there's no early finish bonus, there's no gold carried over to next generation, so I don't have to worry about spending gold or not. Uh, but one thing I would say might, could be interesting uh, would be if those. Actually, this guy is actually is, is an enemy? That is interesting. I would have expected them to. Maybe to an enemy at some point, but uh, to be an enemy t to begin with is odd, at the least. At least it sounds odd to me. Right, what I actually wanted to suggest, uh, to, to suggest is that uh, some of the defending units on those castles over here are maybe just uh, wounded a little bit, like not full health. Because that would definitely add to the whole thing of... Uh, Uh, being uh, actively in progress and not just well happening but being absolutely fruitless Ashak what do you think you're doing escaping the stupid siege of course I'd be uh, I advise you to come with us you treach treacherous worm not sure if this is supposed to if this is a typo or if it's uh, supposed to be the orcish wall misspeaking 50 gold pieces to anyone who brings me Ashak's head. Let me write it down first of all. Features. Actually, let's uh, ask Google if this pronunciation is correct.
pictures. And let's see if I can do this. Apparently not. Okay, so this is typo or intentional. With pleasure, Chief. Was I disrupted? Short heel cap. He was offered 50 gold for uh, our shark's head. Oh, come now, we are killing our own? Shut up, I'll take your head as well. So, strike a orcish leader on the northern riverbank. Uh, my preference for this would have been that he is on my side until he offers the gold and this guy is an old run so apparently a unique unit it is vanishingly rare that some orcish grunt lives long enough to grow old when he does it's usually not because he is the strongest or bravest an orc grunt always know when to withdraw from a battle lost he always know when to betray a chief that is about to be replaced by someone more fierce or scary he never fights if he does not have to. And when he does, he strikes when his enemy expected the least. He may be a bit weaker or more frail than his in his prime, but still remains dangerous. So yeah, you can see he has one less uh, damage point than the other units. That shouldn't be much of a hindrance to him. So, since this guy is obviously trying to fight with me, uh, I kind of have to... Well, now I at least know why I'm recruiting. Level ups do I get? Normal. Good. Okay. And let's go. This totally fits his character that he just uh, goes for his uh, village instead of rushing ahead. I mean, that's sort of a AI behavior anyway, but it fits. Okay, so I kinda like I'm sort of expecting some kind of gimmick uh, to happen here because otherwise I'm not sure how I'm supposed to deal with that. They do have more damage, more gold, more everything. Maybe the human will fight. Well, he's certainly gonna try to storm the city. Storm the city! Oh, some of them will basically just jump over here. As you can see, this guy has zero agency in the scenario. He doesn't have gold, at least. He has no known agency so far. Uh, he doesn't have gold. Enough of this. I haven't crossed the Great Sea just to bleed in the mud under the walls of this human city. You vermin! I'm with you, Arshak. Let's get, far from, get as far from this damn place as possible. Can I recruit Orcish Grunts? I wish I had known that. What the hell? What kind of res what kind of resistance are those? I. What? I'm pretty sure this is actually be supposed to be something like plus ten percent, and uh, this got mixed up instead of ninety percent, which is bonkers, absolutely bonkers. Let me check the red. This. Huh. See, because it's uh, not as active anymore, it's kind of harder to find. Uh. The campaign. Uh. Where is it? I know there is one, but I can no longer f I can no longer find a post, which is awkward. Uh. Okay, apparently this is uh, some kind of plot armor, so it's intended. Which still... Oh, I see, uh, for this one too, which... 
still makes it odd, I think. Because there's like zero explanation of it. It's it's just it's just there and there. Like I do think it's odd. I get why it's implemented. I just wish there was maybe a better way for this. Something like I don't know him moving out of the surround being surrounded or something. Ah, so those here. Oh, right. I maybe should uh, implement showing combat and all that again. Okay. So first of all, that was apparently just plot armor and has been reverted now. Fine. Uh, that way he doesn't get over. But I could. I think maybe restoring his moves instead would be a better way of moving. Um, what would be a good Estonia's moves should be, I think, one of the, the the least complicated way of handling this, which doesn't rely on uh, plot devices. But I'm not sure. But honestly, I still can't find red. I'm confused. Hmm. Okay, yeah, this is not good. Ah, there it is. I finally found. Uh, Oh, oh, I had already opened, I hadn't opened it up, I'm confused. Uh, anyway, let's join this place. Oh, whatever. I've got it open now, so I can just check. Those guys can move now. Oh, and of course they got some gold. Draw the agency, or less, I suppose. Uh, to give agents, not restore. Since now they are being attacked, so can and should participate in the fight. I wanna just explore. And that did not quite work as well as I had hoped. Oh, interesting! What? You can slow enemies with your throwing knives? It's easy. I just target the hit weak points. It helps to practice while hunting animals since they don't wear any armor. So yeah, this is obviously uh Holy let save this but I really wanna see that move. Ah okay, I simply overlooked that weapon special. Fair enough. So in that case this one some XP. One. And just place this one to, uh, well, block. So. This orc leader really has no idea how to fight. Like, if they had started to fight two or three turns earlier, he could have actually mounted a decent attack but now he attacks once during the night gets hit back during the morning and the rest of the fight is during the day ready to turn just in time two arms man for a west enough it's the bastard himself anyone else want to change the plan and flee now screw you traitor Ah, uh, no wonder humans think us daft. We have to hurry, Ashak. Get me on that hilltop. The cover of fog should help us buy time to escape. So yeah, he started his attack and is gonna get full, backstabbed. Okay, that was greedy. That should have gone extremely wrong. This guy has also plot armor. 
I wonder if this fight was scripted because that was pretty fortunate for them to work. So they sadly have lots of gold. Fence. And I really do not want to give this one XP. At least uh, there's not much of a point to that. Yeah, that could work. That was dump enough that I'm willing to redo. First of all, 12. This would be perfect. Doesn't hit all three times. That is about what I expected. This one cannot safely hit anyone, so I'm just going to do this and... Uh, now I have to try to kill them both. Shame. Come on. Yeah, this one is dead probably. Let's try if I can. Never mind, that works. Well. But yeah, that almost works, so that was not great. Like those guys just getting wiped out this. Awkward. Also means I. Like, I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna make it in time. I can see I definitely should have been faster about what I'm doing. Uh, I mean the 15 turns was kind of hint that I don't have that much time, but not every scenario uh, has actually some kind of reason during the scenario to enforce this one. Yeah, that's also uh, a plus on my Yeah, he would. Uh, I keep accidentally turning on the hints, and then I can't undo my turn anymore. That's awkward. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get attacked there. I think. Oh, oh, okay, they are playing defensive. I like that. And those. The city is. not actually trying to attack, I guess? can live with that. Ah, it's a shame that this noble lord doesn't have any um, animation actually. I don't know if that's a mainline campaign. A uh, mainline unit by now. It, like I could imagine it having been added for 1.17. Unit yet. Let me check. Rise of one off. Nope, the noble lord uh, has still the same outlook. This is a uh, better looking version. Like, it is definitely the better. 11 4, 8 times 3, obviously, same kind of. That's. Yeah. Okay, apparently, this is a version of someone made on the forums that has no animations yet, as we can see. Wait, do I. I, I do have to kill that dude. Oh, come on. I... Do I have to kill? Yeah, I do have to. I kind of would prefer not to, but if I have to, I have to. Not much I can do about that. Alright, if, if when you hear me asking questions and then I suddenly have an answer for that, uh, that's because the author is telling me on Discord because they do not have a, what's it called? They do not have a Twitch account, so they're still typing from Discord and you can just uh, see the message. Almighty spirits of the air, may the winds be calm, so fog can flow. Almighty spirits of the earth, may the soil be wet, so fog can cover the can cover the banks. Almighty spirits of the water, may the river run strong, so fog can rise. Yes, the river listens. The river isn't the only thing listening. No, Ashak! Mother! Okay, that was rude. They killed our last shaman. Without them we have no history, no future, no connection to these strange lands. Winds and waters. We can still save the rest of our people. Let's clear the way to the riverbank. 
Everyone, stay in the city. This fog isn't natural, it could be a trap. Bring me a mage who can dispel it. Bad story. But yeah, I obviously managed to achieve that. Actually, what's... Yeah, okay, wood hair is listen as a deaf and now it's no longer listen. That makes sense. Want to clarify. And now we actually have a reason why the humans are not attacking us, which is great, and in that case we really only have to deal with dogs. And that is also an explanation for the uh, turn limit. Uh, my understanding would be that uh, 15 turns is the limit until when either the smuggling is actually available and or until Haldric gets a mage to dispel the fog. I'm a bit surprised that those guys didn't uh, actively try to murder me. But I can live with that, not not them not murdering me, I guess. I'm okay with that. No need to add that. So obviously I could kill this one, but I that right now, but I don't. I'm not really pressed for time. So let's see. Ah, would have worked. Just for fun, I'm gonna lead it in here. I mean, nothing to see here. Nah, nothing to see here. Ah, I was hoping not to hit that one, but but that's okay. He's out of our way. The boat is coming. This is where we part ways. Actually, to clarify, people can hear me, right? Up there. Like the author just said that they're also writing in this chat here on Twitch, but nothing's showing up here. <sighs> Thanks, Clarilla. We shall never forget your name. True friend of the Orcs. Well, I was paid handsomely. Here are a few of my throwing knives, so you have something to remember me by. Also, this is was a very nice and neat uh, foreshadowing of, uh, well, of my assassin probably gaining the ability to uh, slow units. Well, I don't know. Like, that's great and all, but get on the boat already, a boat already, Ashak. Sorry for stumbling over my words like this. They're rootless. Huh? So, that is very interesting. Like, they showed me a screenshot of uh, them writing in the chat, but I obviously can't see that. So, I'm a bit. Just give me a moment. Let's see if it's any different if I open it there. Oh. Chat settings. Uh. Maybe there is some kind. No, a follower's chat only is off. Uh, not the thing should be about, I think. This is very, very odd. I'm not, like, I'm reading anything. But they can see that they're writing down there, so... I'm confused about Twitch right now. Well, that's something I can try fixing later, right now. One thing to check, maybe. Watching, yeah, I can see him on the list of watching. Just test. Like, this shows up for me. Also, 
that route. But, uh, that also, that means maybe anyone is trying to uh, just write something in the chat and, and I'm not seeing it. It's There's nothing I can do about it, I think. Okay, this is funny. Basically, the rootless thing happens before the level up happens and now I'm brought back to this screen because the level up happened, which is not perfect, uh, but I have no idea how to solve this. Arshak's band had a head start, but the king's mounted messages soon not caught up. Oh, sorry for stumbling. Orcs had to proceed with caution, so Ashak started training some particular nimble ones in the stealthy ways. Only with all the help from the smugglers, as well as sheer luck, did they manage to flee the densely populated coastal lands. And trouble was not over. Soon it became apparent that the Westnafians weren't going to stop searching for them. Ashak's band got spotted even while traveling through sparsely populated eastern plains, so he ordered the orcs to turn north crossing the great river in the process. As they arrived in a peaceful valley, many started to hope they finally threw off their pursuers. The old one, Toruk, wasn't that optimistic. So yeah, they said they were turning east at first, and at some point crossed the river because they wasn't, weren't able to uh, throw off the pursuit. Okay, so they said this uh, additional screen cannot be fixed, and uh, XP has to be reported manual in case Ashak or Gaclary well uh, killed the Leah. Um, I think one possible workaround would be if at the end, like if you only check if at the end of my turn uh, the enemy, le the enemy orchestra leader is dead. So basically, I kill them. The, lev the XP distribution happens. The scenario doesn't end yet. I have to end my turn, and then it checks is the leader dead, and then the scenario ends. And if you then throw the screen. There is no XP waiting to happen. Uh, no workaround for that, but which of course would be a workaround in this specific issue, which might also look odd. But it's an idea. Um, back to the campaign, actually. Uh, also, something I didn't announce: I want to play in 90 to 120 minutes, so still a lot of left, still a lot of content left. The hunt. I'm heading into the forest to look. We'll catch something for breakfast. Good, but be back soon. Gotta keep together. Can't have those pink maggots sneak up on us. I think we've lost them. I sure hope so. Stop making that long face of yours. I'll bring you a tasty piglet to fill your stomach, old dog. Yeah, that will lift my spirits. I practice a bit with Clara's knives for the hunt. As you can see, I have now not poison, I have slow instead, as to signify that I'm not fighting with my normal knives that are poisoned, that have poison, but uh, with Clara's knives, which probably have a different plan, which are not specifically poisoned, not yet. Um, and if he's doing it right, he can slow them, and that's why I'm getting the slow. Hunt animals until the end of turn, so for 10 turns. And thanks for the third person that's watching now. Uh, let's try again, maybe one of you can reply in the chat. Maybe it... No, I don't know. Add settings. Yes. Hey, that pixie can uh, reply. That's 
it's also nice and oh thanks for watching actually for, especially since you were calling on yesterday's for that so then I really don't know what uh, why a Necron is unable to reply here like I would still keep re uh, relaying the answers uh, but it's of course a bit annoying for them and uh, for everyone trying to listen Okay, so there's obviously plenty of piglets, but they are running away, so that makes better. There's the piglet. Whoops. God. Look! Red eyes inside! I'm scared! What the hell? Excuse me, sir? I thought I'm supposed to be the one hunting. Look, Chief, a wolf! We need some to replace those we left on a green isle. If we feed them, they might follow us to the camp. Feed the goblin. Oh, oh, lord. That is. It's actually difficult. Turn. Uh, I wish I could check the hints, but I don't wanna... It's a bit like cheating, honestly. Also, whoa. I'm tr I'm supposed to be trying to kill that one. Young units are still inexperienced. They are one level lower than usual and fight less effective. Valid? Yeah, I'm trying to get this one to die. Uh, I don't know if that's actually possible. Actually, are there achievements for this one? There are... Ooh! Advancing Arshak in a siege. And... Beat a unit in the high ground? That is... Difficult? That is difficult. So yeah, uh, obviously I am they are dying, but I'm very much incapable of feeding of the goblins um, because, well, they are dying to this one. That's a nice fat piggy. I'm not making an enemy noise for that. Chief? That's... Hey Chief! Turricot fighting, so you sent me. Yeah, that's probably something about me losing all my units there. Oh sh snap, this guy has set. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna redo this, because I haven't realized that this guy has a chance of 70% chance, 70% chance to dodge there, which is way more than, uh, yeah, I can deal with. Way more. Honestly, let's see if I can't. Nope, I'm dead. I'm almost dead. But here, yeah, 70% chance to this bonkers. Nice. I see I'm getting uh, a goblin every time I loot all of them. Huh. Oh, come on! So. I wish to play this a tad smarter because I achieved literally nothing during this scenario. I know I can do better than that. First of all, slow down the pick so I can actually get them. And I should be able to one of the wolves pretty easily, likely. And I should. Oh, I do get gold. This thing. Look, chief, a wolf. And yeah, we already had that.
So apparently getting stuck on a BL the way I did has never has actually not happened to the alpha before. Uh like they obviously tested this campaign a couple times. Okay, I'm going offensive against this both because I actually want this guy I kinda want those goblins to be kept. That is not quite working right now. That's okay by me. Come on, yes! Oh no! The wolf got him! What a tragedy! Alright. They seem to enjoy their meal. I think they'll follow us now. Oh no! I could have got I could have kept the other wolves as well? Yeah, no, I'm not killing them now. Like someone tell me that. No! I see a uh, dude to... Oh, come on, how do I do this best? This one is weak. Please attack. Yeah, okay, that's that's fine by me. And in that case, it's, I do not have to feed every single wolf one of them. That's great for us. Oh, and they get a full heal. That should speed up my... All of this. Wolves can keep hunting, can also keep Yeah, no, I'm... Close. One of the achievements to get... How many again? To get six animals. And uh, Hixie just now said yummy after one of the, after the goblins got eaten. I mean, apparently accurate, but good. That's obviously working. Die. Huh, the map is smaller than I thought, actually. Oh, whenever I kill one, another one spawns somewhere. Also interesting. Okay, where is the boss supposed to spawn? Like, I'm confused. I can do better than that. So I know if I kill this one, one over here. And likely run over here so I can take advantage of that. Never mind, the pick is smart enough not to do that. So let's actually split up like this. Maximize my efficiency. And then those can really attack. That's four piglets for now. Yeah, I'm not getting that one. Time to get back to camp. To the camp. Now I'm confused. Why did the bigger boar spawn or not? I don't know. We're back. Take good care of these wolves. Try to catch more of them so, can, so we can train some riders. What? What? This should not have happened. I know I only killed four enemy, four animals. Maybe it counts the walls as well because this is 
odd. Or maybe it... Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. It, it might... It, if I play the scenario, it counts up. And uh, the, the count is not removed. If I reload sometimes later. So it is a global counter which just gets counted up. And it is, is not reset properly. So it would add the kills I made this time and the previous time. But I said that might be the case because they also have no idea why this happens. Uh, so that's the uh, next best explanation we have now. I have some bad news. There are humans on the other side of the river. How many? Enough to take us on, I reckon. Vile ox, you've destroyed the Green Isle, the home of our fathers. Your mere existence is an affront to their memory. Ro what? You're standing in our way. Leave now and no blood will be spilled. I'll be damned if I let any of you escape. Ashak, we should flee north. Damn mountains there, not much to hunt. The humans are far from their closest settlements. If we hold our camp long enough, they'll have to turn back. How would I look as, a ch as chief if I refuse to fight every time? Valid point. So survive until the end of turns or defeat Morven. Morven. So and achievements for this scenario are slay all human units and so actually defeating them I guess. I wish I could find out what the hint say is, what the hint say is, hey? but it's sadly not an option right now. Okay, this is a bit odd already having access to a wolf race, like, I just caught all wolves and we want to train up wolf raiders for later, and I feel like it would make more sense if I only had access to wolf raiders in the next scenario, not this one. Like, I, I think I get that the idea is we want to have access to new units every scenario uh, to sort of build up the whole thing, the whole the faction, one bit by bit. Uh, but it would m make more sense to me if we had assassins in this scenario instead of wolf riders, because Arshag already said the story text that they are training up, that he's training up people in his ways, and so it wouldn't be out of line to have now a couple of assassins available. Okay, so uh, the whole Wolf Rider thing is... Uh, it used to be the way I was... I, it would make sense, story-wise, and yeah. But uh, the campaign had to re be rebalanced because of 1.8. And therefore, I guess, like I do not exactly now uh, understand how that. Yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, it used to be the case that you do not have them have the wolf riders in this specific scenario, and uh, the rebalance was having the wolf riders. Actually, do I have? Okay, I have. I have. I wish there was some small mention about um, Ashak using his normal knives again, because now he has access to poison again and no longer too slow, which might throw a player for a loop. There's something inside. What are you? Just a band of orcs trying to get off these of the lands controlled by humans. Isn't everyone? I used to live further down the river until they came and built a settlement around the lake. They called me a monster and threw rocks at me. They sure throw around a lot of slurs for being as ugly as they are. Join us in the, on our journey and maybe we find some place better, uh, better together. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be some place better together or some better place together. I think both works. I think? I see they are already in the valley. They'll taste my blade. Okay, 
I'll take that one. So yeah, this guy has obviously... Uh... Wait a moment. This is definitely more than a hundred gold. Like, look at this. This is 17, 17, 51. 67. Well, actually, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The units that cost 14 gold. I'm not gonna calculate that in my head. Oh, Mirren suggested that uh, the that descendants might also just need a comma like someplace better comma together to make it read better. So seven uh, units that cost 14 gold, one, two, three, four units that cost 70 gold times 17 plus one, two, three, four units that cost seven, 16 gold. So they've already recruited units for that are worth 130 gold, but this implies they have 100 gold. Uh, so this is very, very misleading. I think in this case I would much prefer just uh, seeing the whole, uh, seeing their income or their gold, and yeah, work with that. And because this is a clear day, there is no reason for the gold to be hidden. I get uh, that is likely because yeah, that was dumb of me. Uh, that is was likely because the map was shrouded before, but it is not anymore. So there's maybe not that much of a reason for this. Okay, let's in like considering that they do have so much gold, I'm just gonna pull back a bit. Doesn't seem like a good idea to j be attacked like that. Alright, uh, another suggestion I would like to make, if you want to have wolf riders in this scenario, how about limiting um, them to the number of wolves I caught minus one. Or maybe, actually no, if, if I catch them and they instantly die, then I'm screwed anyway. So yeah, just... Right. Yeah, considering that they have twice as much gold as I assumed, uh, surviving this will be a bit more difficult and clearing them out will be much more difficult. Especially uh, with the time of the fight happening. There's this one again. Yeah, that's gonna be... It. Not a bit, it's gonna be very much annoying. And yeah, mostly because... Of yeah, this one is dead. Uh, I was clicking on... I, was wa I wanted to undo this, but I accidentally... Oh! That is my bad, but I didn't have that, that bad consequences, so whatever. So I'm curious if they're just gonna keep recruiting now. Okay, so they have probably around 250 gold. And yeah, as I do plead for uh, just making money visible. Like, yeah, I cannot save this guy, that's okay. And let's kill that horse right now. Yeah, and the author replied and said, yeah, they will probably do that. Because they overlooked this issue entirely, which, yeah. I was really hoping to get that kill. Yeah, that's gonna hurt again. But not much I can do about that. Oh, I see they... No, I can do better than that. Even if they survive, we don't know yet. I can't just put them on the other side, there's no need to actually expose them. Okay, I feel like I had better luck than expected. Oh, I see, yeah, that that's what happened. 
actually kill them the way I wanted. Okay, like this, I guess. Oh, and there was this one in between. So yeah, this guy is very, very dead. Um, I completely forgot I was exposed. Oh, let let me rephrase it. He should have been very, very dead, because I completely forgot that I was also exposing him to the bowman. Now that daytime is finally over, I can actually counter attack and try uh, not to get wrecked as much. I'm gonna put him there. I will need to remove the fences first if I want to have any hope of, so of this one surviving. On the other hand, it uh, isn't that promising to actually keep attacking this guy. Um, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I guess that's about the best I can do with that. Yeah. So let's switch those up so in case this one gets killed, Arshak is not the one. Actually, I completely forgot. I can just do this. And yeah, this one is still very much dead, but I guess they can at least hold down the place. Oh, and high path again. Seven, to be precise. Uh, that's also one of the new follows, so I'm. It's, it's very gratifying to see people follow and actually show up to the very next. So thanks for that for sure. That sucks, but it's fair. Yeah, I will not be able to clear them out or anything like that, but I should be able to kill... Oh, nice. I should be able to negate the whole thing quite a bit. Thanks. Uh, for Pathogen 7 and actually anyone who's joining new here, I do upload, I do, re I download the recordings of which makes of the of the stream, and then afterwards upload them on YouTube. So I'm pretty sure I've linked everything. Um, in a while, so I don't know for that show actually. Uh, so should be uh, if you miss a stream or if you don't have time, or if you just want to watch all content of, of mine, you can find it on YouTube as well. Focus right run. Since this is a unique unit, I'm going them out. So first of all, this unit boosts the defense of the surrounding unit of its own side, so they get an extra strike for all their attacks. Oh, come on! I would have loved to level them first if I had known that, honestly. Like, damn. The Orcs, for all the violence omnipresent in their society, often feel strong respect for the Elders. It is presumed that only a very strong or very cunning individual survives past his prime years. Many of these veterans have learned to use shield and coordinate the defense of the Orcish Horde. But really getting an extra strike is... Hmm. Defense? For all day. Okay, I wanna know how exactly this is supposed to work. One, two, three. Does this only work on defense or am I missing something about this? Extra strike. Only on defense. Okay, but the author confirmed it just now. In that case, um Oh I see, that's how it works. That's interesting. That is very useful for sure. Like see they uh, get the extra strikes there. Which is I do think a very interesting mechanic. But yeah and to be fair as long as you just wait at least one turn and as long as you just end your turn next to you will figure out how this works. So I don't think it more explained already already available. Gotta get rid of this one. I gotta get rid of uh, I guess I won't. 
So let's just put him away, I guess. Uh, die. Okay, maybe not. Ah, right, I can just put. Oh, come on, really? Yeah. If I had known it was this easy to hit this guy, I would have. I would have murdered them ages ago. Huh. No. I need to consider this ability a bit more. Like, if I place him just a tad better than this, I can. Uh, I can boost my ability to deal damage on defense. A lot. Probably would love to put him on this position over here. Yeah, no, I can't really. Um, one has to go. Like I do still think, go, but obviously. Um that happened. In that case let's just Yeah that yeah, let's just chill this unit now. Yeah obviously getting this unit earlier would be Oh, I just need to place him in some position behind my lines. As him, of course. To maximize his impact. That's a shame. That's not as useful as I had hoped. Just sacrifice this guy, I guess. This. Uh, obviously also a kill. This is not a kill. But an offensive waiting to have. Uh, like this, I think. But yeah, this is one is dead. Much, uh, but it's okay. He is bait. And beating them on time might be difficult actually. Like I can I I'm not gonna really take time for this one. Heal or anything like that. Uh because a bit too important for a counter right now. Like just having him around a proof. At least on the way too much to just not keep him. Right, I don't need to kill. Well, that worked out anyway. Yeah, that would be a bad idea. <laughs> this one is dead either way. This one. Well, let's see if I can. Oh. Yeah, it was not good. Like first of all, I can. No, I can. Ah, uh, that hints. Can there? I. Damn. So. Just as a reminder to me, I do not have any guarantee to hit him, so I can at least poison him. And sure that the poison will deal damage. It seems viable. Perfect. No, that is dumb. 
As you can see, I'm a being a bit. I'm rushing it too much. I can I can afford to play it a bit slower, and I should. So there I have my Orca Slayer. Uh, yeah, this is viable. If I don't, don't. If I hadn't managed it, it wouldn't have been too bad. Get those. They can harden those. Perfect. Fill it first. Okay, yeah, this also makes this unit uh, the obvious unit to attack. Sir, they are still resisting. When will the elves come? Hush, you fool! Keep fighting! Did you hear that? I did, and I don't like it one bit. Tell everyone to start retreating north. Uh, so I'm gonna try a mad rush at the Archak to this endpost. East. Uh, all of the wolves die. The defeat condition is outdated. So let's see if it's still here. Yeah, all of the wolves die is should be removed actually. Uh, because it's no longer important. No, no, no longer relates to what actually happens. The author is not quite sure why it shows. Like, I al also can only is uh, left over from somewhere. Asha needs stairs, so let's just roam over there, I guess. Nice. That was very decent. That's just gonna everyone down. Nice. Yeah, if I understand correctly, elves are gonna come and reserve first the whole battlefield. Foolish orcs, you're doomed! So, the human messenger was right. They really are orcs this close to my realm. Damn, that that's that's it. Right, looks awesome. They need to be uh, eliminated before they can settle and become a threat. Dispose of them. At once, my lord. There's so many of them. Everyone, run faster. Only in the mountains can we lose the riders. Shame. Okay, nothing really changes except uh, the. This is a custom one, but it's. Uh, this. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, the only difference is those actors are showing up. But hey, does it mean I have to kill the, mess the ca messenger as well? That is harsh. But let's kill this guy. So yeah, apparently, yes, I do have to kill him. I do hope they did not get a gold boost. Okay, the good thing is the elves do not really care about uh, me attacking the humans over there, so they don't mind me murdering them. Ain't my fault, but the Kingdom of Vesnov will triumph. Hey, there's a crossbow! How lucky that I do have crossbow units around. Equip the crossbow. Yes. Great craftsmanship. I'll put it to good use. The unit gains, max, uh, gains maximum special for its range attacks. Crossbow. In that case, a great improvement would be for Morvin to have the marksmanship. Like, of course, you can argue uh, that Morvin is not a primarily crossbow uh, 
which is why he did, didn't have uh, marksmanship, but in that case, uh, like, maybe it's, uh, maybe you can argue then, okay, they have such good, what's it called? They have such a good hit chance because actually this is a keep, but it's not a keep, it's just them arriving. Well, uh, it has such great craftsman. It's had, it has normal craftsmanship for humans, which is that much better than the craftsmanship for orcs. And that's why they have marksmanship. But I do think it would be great if uh, Marvin had some addition to their marksmanship. Uh, so, explain why this thing is so well crafted or whatever. So, Gabo needs to go somewhere else. Gabo needs to go over there, okay. Otherwise, he cannot escape the range. Uh. Ah, come on. Yep. This. Better. So, I can get the achievement, uh, but I don't see how I can get it. And, uh, reasonably survive that. Unless I start running a turn earlier, which would have required foresight, but um, and and I had I there was no specific need why I needed. To. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I'm not gonna do that in time. As you can see, I will end my turn next turn. So try just surviving, and there's a second achievement: slay all human hunt. There will be more scenarios and more achievement in the next turn. I did not get the achievement first scenario. I will get those later on time. Uh, but first of all, this is dead. Yep. Honestly, I probably should have rook over there with them so uh, they can put up a great defense against the elf, that would be kinda decent. Please survive, come on. Okay, you cannot do that. In that case, like, that was also kinda unreasonable. Effect. I do think I should need to uh, murder this one, otherwise it doesn't really count. Something like that. Let's try. No, of course they can still attack and this is still primary t target for them. Jeez. So this one needs protected to be nice. This one doesn't protect it, I think. Yes. 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 This might be viable. Oh, damn! This guy can reach over. Unexpected. Okay. In that case, both of them are dead. But more or less okay. Whoa! Really wasn't expecting them to be there. I think uh, this is viable enough. You can see Lord Logan Maya is not even trying to recruit anything, they they just uh the army just goes up. Oh oh they are recruiting to some degree? Or because otherwise I don't understand. They are not recruiting, but it's I guess it's encrypted in this way too. But it has to be. Okay, they have a cap of how many you they are, I guess. Or of how many. Well, it's something. There is a cap of some kind. So the officer should trust them. Let's run. We made it! Running away won't save you. I'll hunt you to the end of the world if I have to. That is. not very friendly. It 
sizable elvish army wasn't able to uh, expand for long. The newly trained assassins finally got good enough to be sent to cover tracks and poison the water sources. Orcs were used to the hilly terrain and, uh, sh and it shielded them from even the most experienced of Bogamir scouts. scouts. Yet Arshak now knew better than letting his guard down. Against Torek's advice, he started to search for the dwarves that were known to live somewhere in the vicinity. The rumor had it they weren't too fond of elves and guarded the secret passageways under the mountains. Passageways that could lead to a new land, far from the reach of King Hadric or Lord Logamir. The deal. This is not a great place for a camp, Arshak. One of your newly trained assassins saw a structure not far to the north. Someone lives there. I know. I've sent the assassin after all. This is the domain of the dwarves. I want to talk with them. Have you gone mad? Will you ever listen to me for more than a heartbeat? Humans almost got us and the elves are probably still following. Right. We are short on food and have no way to go. Turning east or south means certain death in the, in the hand of the elves. If we continue west, we probably only return back to the sea. That is if you don't die of hunger first. So what would you have us do? Uh, go over these mountains? They are cold and most likely full of dangerous creatures. I want to ask the dwarves to let us pass under these mountains. I'm told their tunnels run far and deep. You would trust these cave dwelling creatures? I should have listened to you last time, I admit it, Turok. But this time I know I'm right. I don't think dwarves have much love for the elves and we could use that to our advantage. Stay back, stranger! What manner of creature might ye be? My name is Ashak. I lead a small band of orcs through these lands. We didn't come to shed blood. I will be the justice of that. Orcs do not come up often in our legends, and when they do, it's now never usually for anything good. What be ye needing? Let us cross under the mountains through your tunnels to find a new homeland on the other side. An elvish army follows us, since one they call Logamir desires our death. Logamir, they have returned to this valley? Logamir? Aye, hold your horses, Ryobred. We bear no law for the likes of Logamir, but we can't just let you through the towns without proving your worth. As dwarves believe true virtue comes from mastering body, mind and soul. Alright, what should we do? Slay Yeti, the fool be sitting off on well and it's preying on our flocks. Only then will you be granted to pass it through our tunnels. I'd like to see how sharp your minds are. Listen well, we had a fourth brother, Birg Birmag lost. Once a famed warrior who pledged his allegiance, now not but a raider and plunderer. His pack is well fed and equipped for battle. To defeat him, he must field a key grasp of tactics and strategy. I wish to test your very soul. Make a gift for me, crafted from the materials you find in this valley. Very well, I should better not waste any time. The Orcish craftsmen can make different items from the materials you discover in the valley. Maybe there will even be, will be enough to make more than one gift. So, this reminds me where, like, this is obviously a parallel to. Rise of Westnoff, the task the Kalian set out. And interesting. Sources of materials left on the map for. Okay, Arshak and Turok will need a carry no items, and there's a type. I think there might be a typo, like there might be a missing space, but I'm not that sure. Honestly. Uh, it's like find some materials for the off craftsman to you, Lady Yeti Mountain, and the Bitburma Glossed. Okay. And it was very much implied that I might be able to make more than one item. This is probably the tunnel I can use. 
This is very much like those two are uh, crafts item. Uh, items like craft. There's also another one. But I'm not seeing the fourth one yet. Like it is probably also somewhere around. It, oh, I see. This is also some kind of unit. I think monster. It's, there's likely a monster over there. And that would yield the fourth item. Oh, no, there's the fourth item. Yeah, there it is. But yes, there's probably also a monster over there, and there's the Yeti over there. So... Verify Arshak's hip hypothesis about Yetis. Okay. Don't let Ulf Circus kill any of my units. No, I guess... This guy has Ulf Circus. Uh, there is some hypothesis Arshak will have about the Yeti, which he hasn't told us yet. Those three guys are just nice. But this one obviously has has to come. This one as well because loyal. Oh, she has to come. And yeah. Interesting. I see. I get. I get a better recall cost for my money for a level. For goblin unit and for level Z goblin unit. I mean it checks out, it makes sense. Just was aware of the Need to make quick work of the dwarf's tasks. Are any of our wolves strong enough to carry me? We might have one. What do you think, Garshak? We see if he can handle a rider heavier than a goblin. The wolf growls and struggles, but eventually accepts the rider. I think we are going to be friends. A mounted slayer. Okay, still fa- Ah. Interesting, I see the downside of a mounted slayer is that they lose their marksman. Which is a shame. I very much would have liked uh, to keep my marksman, actually. Maybe I will regain it on... Oh, I I was about to say maybe and hopefully I will be able to regain it on level 3. But that is not the case, but I can gain it as an after max level advance. Which hints to me that Torg might also have some max uh, after max level advancement. I do not know for sure. And I do need to train up, hopefully, one or two wolves. Yeah, this should be enough. Like, with Heartened by Torok, I should... Oh yeah, there's a spider, of course. That explains that stuff. Nope. In that case, I would... Very much put this one over here. Like, this one can... This is the only hex. Yeah. Okay. Knowing that there's a spider, there is one specific thing I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do this and. There yeah, has to retaliate. I keep this one so I can hopefully level them up instantly. Okay, I will return once we have collected more materials. So, and the implication very much was there are enough materials. Uh, to craft at least two items, maybe even, I don't know, maybe it's also one uh, item per uh, collected re oh, Come on, the spider is not willing to collect it. Really hoping to bait them. Bit of luck to work now. So yeah, I probably should have already recruited or recalled over there. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna send this Orcish Assassin just to the north in uh, hopes that he can poison the hell out of the heat and walk away. Nose. Okay, the spider is sadly not stupid enough to just attack. It was worth a try. Uh, Emiran commented. When exactly? Oh, commented a couple minutes already how different people, like that is it, how people are differently about scenarios. So. 
actually just walk past that one, I guess. But really, I should have known better than to just uh, add as many units as possible. Oh! Oh, they actually attacked there. I get. But it's surprising. Oh, there they are. Ah, Burma Gloss. Ah, strange and ugly creatures becoming. Armed to the teeth they are. That all their order got must have fired some mercenaries. Ready your axes! As you can see, they are approaching from over there, and if I do want uh, to get the achievement of not losing a unit, uh, I read. So yeah, with this one, not willing to leave the mountains, bit eh, not great at all actually. Hmm. <laughs> this helps. We need to know how to cure this spider. Oh! Still willing to attack there? I, I'll, I'll attack that. Okay, so they are over there this time. I'm honestly not sure why, but what it is. Uh, uh, yeah, if it's at least not being on the 70 pit. Touch. Like, uh, as you can see, I still have a hard time hitting, uh, but it should have an easy. Yes, I did say should, and I was not wrong about that. Oh, I see the counter of how many uh, items are updated. How many material? Yes. Griffin. And uh, I see, so they are absolutely not. Iron. Next, uh, the condition was not to lose. Half seconds. Fine. Cool. Right up there. If it takes likely to die, I think. Yeah, let's start uh, trying to once over there. With a bit of luck, they will uh, rotate down there where they have the river to defend. Should be winning this fight. That was much closer than I uh, had hoped. But then I thought it would. That Yeti! I think we won't wake him unless we, unless we come right next to him. Careful now! You can surprise him. I wonder how would his fig coat burn if he set it on fire? So I honestly think I'm just gonna poison him how that goes. Uh, because I think there's a decent chance that I can, well, literally just poison them and walk off with that. Those. Those. Oh, no better. Like, obviously, um, I can set him on fire, more or less. It's just uh, out for the Drury if that's a good idea or not. Interesting, they would not attack, they will not attack uh, the brothers. I mean, I get that, I guess, more or less. Yeah. Like, it, it's, it's possibly explainable, like that. Hmm. 
<laughs> Pepper Gain Salmon was like any time you win a fight with an old spec, it's a miracle. It really depends. Uh, like on, on nighttime, I would absolutely crush them, that's for sure. On daytime, it's of course, it, it's, it's uh, at least for my orcs uh, much more dicier. But on, at nighttime, I really would say it's. Uh, I definitely want to level this guy. Yeah, I, I don't need to fight that one. But, uh, to, yeah. So my idea is honestly to just poison them and see what happens. Oh no! We woke him up! So he's poisoned. And now the question is, how much on a rampage is he gonna go? And actually, yep, they are enemies. So that's actually plus for me. Just poison the hell out of those guys. One. Yeah, okay, that went a bit better than expected actually. Oh snap! Hawks, help me! Sorry for that one. I will have you right away. That was. Yeah, the. Uh, wait, no, I did not want to go back a turn. I wanted. Yeah. That was. Um, that was on me, yes. That was very much on me. Hey, yeah, I can do it. I have collected some Midnight Cloak Whipped Any other Night Stalk ability, webs, iron Ah, I see Any other other than Wolf Riders and the Advancements I guess because they more or less already have that item uh, That ability <laughs> Poisoning that. Die. There we go. Yes. Dead. Like I really uh, see I might rampage around. This is not that unexpected set. Oh no. Oh no! Yeah, that's okay. This guy is very willing to leave his uh, place, and I guess tech is over there. I could sort of rampage around in villagers. Current situation is uh, pretty shitty for me uh, because I spread my units around too much and. They are not. Well, they are falling very divided. Oh, I see on easy the Yeti would stall, stay in the volley, so it could literally just poison and walk away. That would rush. Die. Die. Or at least uh, get poisoned very badly. Yeah. I think it's obvious enough I did not approach this camera as smartly as I could have. Or at least uh, once I saw the spider and maybe I should uh, back around. I'm pretty sure I could have made uh, the dwarves and the spider fight, so that would have been quite useful. Dead at least. Dead and dead. But yeah, the loss are a bit harsh. Damn! Finally. Walk it off. I can take it. And in the long run, I will probably win this one. Ah, uh, but it's. It depends 
how I speed I win this, I guess. But it's obviously somehow viable. Quite as bad. And you need much one leveling up. Let's remove. Reading situation right, everyone will well everywhere, more or less. And therefore, I can like the possible. Oh, there's one. I knew I did one understandably. I guess I would apparently win that fight, uh, but there's no need to vote like that. Actually, yeah, I. A 0.1 chance to die is uh, reasonable enough, honestly. Oh, I see. Is there a level 4 here? Oh, I see. Ah, right. Those are just uh, advancements there. Okay, he just chills there for now. Enough. Um, yeah, that is a possible death. I should have avoided. Is obviously I mean enough. Let's check this out. Ha, the Yeti is advancing, as I had hoped. And I definitely should attack them by a uh, unit. Uh, Ouch. Hitting that one. Whoa, this one is for time. Nice, nice, nice. The dwarves are also actively attacking that guy. Ouch. Yeah, so much for that keep I was hoping to occupy. Uh, all. That at least very nice. That is not good, so kinda <laughs> I definitely can see uh shark dying now. Probably should have just not attacked. Quite for my oh, because this one back off off to oh, is that this back off to healed? I should be fine. Or at least I have a chance to. Come on. To be I did lose those, and I wanna up. I'll just try. Not right. Yeah, back the hell off. Bit of oh, I kind of forgot those guys over here. Uh, with a bit of luck, like they are going to each other. Birds are a different thing from. Also, I think I'm gonna play, I guess, 20 more minutes and, and leave off for the day. Like I. I had planned to end it around. Had planned to ha end it around like 10 minutes ago, but I'm reaching the end of this actually. Why are those cowards hiding in the stinking swamp?
It weren't always a swamp. Years ago, there was a dam upriver. We used the water to grow crops and its power to lift gold and iron from our mines. During the war, those pointy-eared elves sent their damned walking trees to crush our dam with the full magic. Lord Vogel Thoughts had a notion that he was only hitting our steelworks, but he ended up causing a whole mess of trouble. See, the dam bursted and the wave it caused on, on 2,400 more. Innocent folk were washed out on where and they had worked and lived for generations. And most of them were women and we once at dead. Now we can't even find where they lay to give them a proper burial stone. Well, that's a war crime? Yeah, that, that checks out. It's a war crime. Yeah, Mirion uh, was apparently the one that came up with the vocal thoughts. So Anacron told me, and Mirror is also... Oh! Uh, for a moment I thought that uh, they had all lost uh, their flags right now, so I thought, oh no, uh, the Yeti killed them, but he's actually still very much alive and kicking, but they obviously fight each other. Dwarves are all going... Nice. How old are these? Is there any marrow left? Hey, you stop it! We can make something out of these bones. Ah, <sighs> alright, chief. One more and one. Yes. There's again no early finish will carry over, so let's spam me on it. Try to level up. Let's see, what can I do? A wolf rider's bone necklace. We spam speed by one, use web and bone. Okay, one speed can only be equipped by wolf riders. An assassin's dagger gains against the backstab ability, can be by Arkish and Senses. And a night cloak, we already know that one. So I can make exactly two items in each item up exactly two of those things. Oh! Oh that poor Griffin lore. That was that was sad. This would looks like it could make a fine bow. What about the other branches? I know what to do with the stick. Catch! Oh, that was really cool to look at. Good boy. Oh, that was cute. Okay, so there's now f uh, three, uh, three more items available. A grunt shield increases the resistance to physical damage. Uses iron, like increases resistance um, for Arkish grunts and the advancements. Archer's bow damage and. Uh, can be equipped by orcish archers. A stuff of haunting. The unit comes back as a ghost. Lane uses wood and bone. Oh, come on. Damn. Like, honestly, I would have loved the assassin's dagger, dagger the most. Um, and uh, maybe the midnight, midnight cloak. Or the archer's bow. Like, the preferably the Assassin's Dagger, uh, the, the Archer's Bow, and then the Midnight Cloak, I guess. Uh, but the Staff of Haunting gives me access to a whole new unit, which I will obviously take. Yeah, um... That's first of all, like, the uh, Wood and Bone. Iron, on and Web. So the Midnight Cloak and the Haunting Staff. Carry it. Now carries the cloak. Has to give it to them. And oh I see I cannot equip. No. They yeah, actually should should send this one back, it doesn't matter which of them takes the staff of haunting. One of them is totally enough.
So I really wish I had been able to level up one of my wolves. Because now I kinda am somewhat in a lurch. Oh no, oh no. That wolf is dead. Dead? Yeah. Not death. Dead. Oh! Oh nice! So yeah, he does kill that one, so that's nice. Let's just all the villages on the way. Yeah, the Yeti assist. That's pretty much what it was going for. Like, if he stayed in a volley, okay. I can just murder him. Uh, at least I can is I can poison him and just let him get just wait for him to die. And uh Yeah. Or if he leaves then there is the chance he will tangle with the dwarves. I would have honestly just reloaded if need of that had happened because Yeah, for obvious reasons I would have I would have been gotten wrecked. And the offer just an egg one just said they will they plan on adding a custom dialogue for the chance that this happens that you lure the Yeti into the enemy Drowish camp. I curse ye fool beast! Make your lips be plagued with naught but pain and misery till the hour of your demise. Why are you so hateful? It was you who butchered innocence and stole from them. No souls blameless beneath the sky, laddie. Every creature comes screaming into this world, bringing naught but a promise of pain. I've spilled blood and sweat to spare my kind from this bit of truth, but it's a fruitless endeavor. Am, and I'm glad it's over now. You can, you can the depths of his sorrow made him blood blind to our reason, but the fierce worry here was nonetheless. Here have a sharp whiff, Ashrak. Shall I present the gift to the dwarves? Yes. Fuck off! I must say, the craftsmanship of your kin is not but plain and crude. Bro! Haven't I told you? It's all enough, all for nothing. They only see us as the wild beasts, just as two elves and men. The elves be giving gifts of silver wrought delicate like and wood carved like swirls, swirls like serpents. I like your gift better, Ashak. It's plain, but it's true. What? I deem you worthy to pass through our old tunnels. Okay. I... I guess I had too much of an opinion like... Uh, Torov there because apparently, yeah. While they did not talk as kindly about my, of, about my craftsmanship as I had would have liked, they did not dismiss it as much as I thought they did, and as I thought they would. Like, but still that was not kind of them to say, that is for sure. Okay, why did they hear trumpet now? Crypto stuff, yep. Omo winces as the staff is cold to the touch. Haunted. Yay! Oh, this one isn't trying to uh, get away. They are only trying to reach the village. Uh, not, not trying to counterattack them, trying to reach the village. Which is useful and makes uh, fighting them much easier. Interesting. Also means I can uh, safely level my unit. Okay, that is a bit odd. Um, I honestly, it's I didn't need to um, uh, move the way I did. So apparently many people before had already reported that he doesn't fight back and uh, they hadn't, the author hadn't made the connection yet that it was because of the poison. Now that they know that they will fix that. 
What? Oh, come on! Wait, I get it. Because he would have advanced. Yeah, okay. He is forced to attack because otherwise my units would advance. And he can't have that. Or at least uh, the, the normal way of forced to attack that would advance overrides the faulty uh, AI of trying to uh, heal the poison no matter what. Oh snap! No! I need to set him on fire. We got him! No, that's not what I wanted. Nope, nope, nope. I don't want this. I wanna set him on fire first. Okay, nothing happens. Let me check something. Like, I will remove the advancement afterwards. Okay. Okay, um, I already got a confirmation the whole fire thing only works for waking him. So if I had sent, uh, an archer to wake him up and to set him on fire, I would have gotten the achievement, but I didn't, I... Fair enough. Like, fair is relative, but at least I know not what it is about. Can't deal with that. Yes, we got him! Yeah, I was actually hoping for a uh, pillage habit because I killed him with an intelligent unit. I'm definitely going to Goblin Knight. Give God a spine, I, and I'll not deny it. Give Ant my respects, la respect, lads. Mind you, step down there, lads. Some of our tunnels are crawling with trolls. Trolls? Hey, Arshak, look! I wish you all a pleasant afternoon. How dare you show your face in these mountains again? Turn your back, uh, turn your back now, I'll you feel the bite of our axes. I do not wish to violate a truce that exists uh, between our races. I'm just here to negotiate. With whom? With you. If you are the one that Karl Arshak did is. Queen Jisan was furious when she le learned about your deal with the smugglers. She sent her spies after those who helped you, but it seems you managed to find new friends in the meantime. What do you want? I want you out of this world. may seem charming to the dwarves today, but your people are numerous and warlike. One day they'll come back with fire, uh, they will come back with fire and steel. Ah, you'll be right. We didn't, uh, we didn't wanna think to, we didn't wanna f want to think to your level. Volgamir, you know the dwarves want to fo let you follow us into the tunnels. What is your proposal? Ships. I will give you enough to carry your entire tribe with plenty of food and water. In turn, you will leave this continent, never to return. How could we even trust you keep your word? It doesn't matter. Our home is lost forever. The Green Isle is infested by drakes. There's nowhere to go. Then no, I won't stop pursuing you. Sooner or later you'll have to leave those tunnels. You refused. Does that mean it's my turn? It does. My scouts will find a place for your ritual. Thanks for everything, Order God. Our blood shall remember you. Aha! <laughs> Did you see that lo the look on Logothard's face? Priceless, I tell ya. Safe travels. May you find a new home one day. So Pathogen7 is saying, uh, more maps need to do the fate of lag to move units around. And I think uh, I do know some campaigns or maps that do. Uh, but I think it's, more, it's mostly a specific use case. Some some scenarios it makes uh, sense to keep them moving around, um, but it, on others it doesn't make as much sense. 
Oh, oh it makes more sense to fade to black when time actually passes. And I think in those cases it does usually happen. In underground tunnels were monotonous at first. Then the orcs passed by a dwarven burial deep beneath the half mountain came up and came upon a cave in. Thorok wanted to return to the nearest junction and find a way through the side passages, but Ashak had another idea. The tunnels crossed the cave that, according to the dwarven map, went in roughly the right direction. The wolves could smell some vermin from it, but what orc would be frightened by a rat or a bat? The dark. What do you think we'll find in these tunnels? Ashak wolves. Ashak's wolf stares in the darkness and clenches its uncomfortable in the black, pitch black corridor. I'm not sure. I believe you'll get us safely out of them, though. That's very strange to hear from you. You've proven your worth as a chief, Ashak. I miss my old home far to the east. Every I miss my old home far to the east every day. After the madness of the war against you. I no longer dare to hope for a new one. And now you do? I'm starting to believe I might get to at least deep before my last breath. Arshak to the end of the tunnels. And this time there's a carryover uh, for the next scenario, but no early finish bonus. So either there is some specific way how I will not be able to uh, actually chill and Get my, get my income. Wanted. On, where is he? Yeah, he is. This one needs to die. Oh, there is a plate. I'm gonna open that. Uh, or there is some. Or I can. I, there might be no villagers. Or uh, almost none. Uh, let's see. Piled skulls with whisper. Praise be to the devourer. Name starts with an N. The name ends with an N. Okay. That. What? I definitely heard a sound there. I'm worried. But it's a puzzle, obviously. So. Defeat the burned one by burning him, funny, and without losing too many units. I guess I'll have to find out what it exactly is supposed to be. Yeah, I definitely I can do a better job over here. Actually, first of all, poison this one to hell off. Okay, I found my first village, that's nice. And that's a prison. I'm not gonna finish the scenario, I let, I'm just gonna time to figure out the puzzle instead. Yep, whatever. I did not see anything. Wait a moment. Okay, this one glows. North? Oh, I see! North. South east, south west. Okay, that is not the correct solution. Basically, yes, no, not. I 
wonder what's up there. Well, there's obviously that in there. Oh, I s Wait a moment, what the hell is that guy doing over there? I wanna, I wanna know what's... Well, that is... Unexpected. Let's find out what is there before I end the stream. There's obviously some undead on, on there, all of this, which is uh, less than ideal. Nice. So uh, the bats are apparently allied with the undead. Unfortunate. No, never mind then. Let's find out what is what is I find here. Oh, I see the und undead are part of the... Knock knock? Who's there? Excuse me, have you heard about the ghouls, the finest beings in all of Ir all Iria? I haven't, tell me more! But of course, let me invite you to our annual ghoul appreciation conference. Soon in a cave near you, you'll learn everything there is to know about ghouls, I promise. We are in the middle of something here. It's not a problem, we'll wait until you sort it out. Oh, you've unlocked the bonus scenario you can play after completing the main campaign. Well, time for me to get going. So I guess if I... Yeah, that is nice. It was... that had a lot... that had very much a vibe of uh, how the... Uh, the... Like... It very much had a priest thing. I have, but uh, I but I'm willing to learn more. Okay, so there are two um, two good options, and I guess one bad option. I don't care about ghouls. Get lost. Well, okay, there is not a bad option. There is just this guy is just straight up friendly. No lol. I'll take it. Um, anyway, for now, let's, let's stop for now, uh, right now, um, like I will restart the scenario next time uh, I stream, that should be on Sunday at 20 to 15 or something with UTC, I, I will uh, write it down on, on the Discord again uh, sometime tomorrow, okay, whoops. Um, but yeah, for now, I have to say that was quite fun. Uh, as, as you could hear, I had a lot of things to say. <laughs> uh, but um, I, I do think it's easiest to give uh, teach, like to have so many suggestions if there is if the campaign is already quite polished, like this one. Like there is, uh, there is much more for me to build up on, to go to make suggestions, suggestions of, to have an opinion about. To be, like if there was only, yeah, uh, kill, go there, kill that, uh, then there is not much uh, for me to talk about, to think about. If that makes sense. But really, that cool is, like what? Yeah, and yeah, there are a lot of user made campaigns, that's correct, Path Again 7. Um, I'm guessing you want to say, to add something to that statement of there being many user made campaigns, because uh, I can tell you there are at least 200, I think around 300 uh, on. 1.16 right now. Give me a moment. So I have okay. No, there are around 200. I guess I have 109 finished on 1.16 and. 
How many are there left? Like a hundred and nine are I have finished around and I still have a hundred and around a hundred I guess maybe less maybe more. I'm not quite sure on one point uh, 16 I haven't finished. so at least 200 things yeah it's an it is an overwhelming amount um, if you want like I've obviously only I've I've streamed uh, user made campaigns on on Twitch and I've uploaded them on YouTube. So it's obviously campaigns I very much like, and there are also plenty of other good campaigns. And I guess I used to um, comment books uh, under my streams, under my recordings, and I guess I could also recommend campaigns if someone would be interested. Like for now, I'm just gonna end the stream so I stop rambling for the people that watch later. Uh, hi Shrek Slayer and by Shrek Slayer, you managed perfectly for the end of my stream. Uh, but it will be a, a bit longer chat.